because there are many countries who need help, and the only one that could help them is the rich countries. Uh, so before we start, I would like countries that are considered lacking in terms of its economy, infra infrastructure, and industrial base, and the definition of help. Uh, to give or provide what is necessary to accomplish a task or to satisfy a need. So, our criteria for today's motion is leveling up to the role model, which means that the rich countries are the role models for the poor countries, and the poor countries are looking up to them. Uh, our first argument is putting on feet in economical development. Uh, you could do that in three ways which are money aid, military aid, and uh, food aid. Uh, rich countries could help poor ones financially by giving them money to satisfy their needs. Uh, military, they could send them some help during the war. And food, by giving food, uh, for example, uh, the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization estimates that about 795 million people of the 7.3 billion people in the world, uh, um, sorry, or one in nine, were suffering from chronic un undernourishment in 2014 to 2016. Almost all the hungry people, 780 million, live in developing countries. Uh, representing 12.9% uh, or 1 in 8 of the population of developing countries. Uh, there are 11 million people under nauseized in developed countries. Uh, also, if all the billionaires in the world put together all their money, they could uh, cover all of the poorness in Africa. So, our second argument is putting on feet in medical development. You could do that by giving equipment in emergen uh, um, and in emergencies. Poor countries can't afford equipment such as um, x-rays. You really need x-rays for uh, different body parts that could be broken or, for example, if someone has a brain tumor, for the x-ray to see where that brain tumor is. And nowadays this is very, very expensive. Also, uh, uh, medicine is very expensive nowadays. Uh, so, the rich countries should send that to poor countries to help them, to save other people's lives. Uh, since the poor countries can't afford it, many people die in that country, and if rich countries send that to them, uh, send their supplies to them, the percentage of deaths could meaningfully decrease. Uh, in emergency situations such as um, earthquakes, volcano eruptions, etc., rich countries should send volunteers and specialists to help all of those suffering people to rebuild their homes, to uh, medically help them, as I already said, and help those in need. So, uh, in the end, I would like to refer to a very well-known quote, which is, give a man a fish and feed him for a day, teaches a man to fish and feed himself for a living. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, dear ladies and gentlemen, our honorable judges, our timekeeper, our opponents and audience. Uh, first, let me introduce myself and the speakers of oppositional team. My name is Anipia. I'm the first speaker of oppositional team. The second speaker is Simur, and, <clears throat> and the first speaker is Alim. <clears throat> Before starting uh, our first speech, uh, we want to give you a structure. Uh, firstly, uh, I will uh, say the motion, and, and uh, then uh, you you'll heard a criterion and refutation. Uh, after all this, I will uh, give you our strong arguments. Uh, so the motion, uh, the motion of our debate today is: This house believes that rich countries shouldn't keep pets, shouldn't help poor countries. And we, as the oppositional team, will prove you that this statement isn't true. Uh, also, we are agree with the definitions of uh, propositional team. Uh, well, the criterion of our team is well-being of the country is a task of the country. Uh, so, during hundreds of years, uh, governments of, of the countries were wondering, should we help poor countries or not? Uh, I want to give you... Uh, quotation mark of the popularest uh, man in the world, Benjamin Franklin. Uh, he said that God helped uh, the one who helps himself. 
uh, which means that everyone needs to help himself and uh, that your problems are nobody's fault at all. Uh, so this quotation marks applies to our first argument. Uh, government is uh, responsible for the well-being of its people, uh, which means uh, that if you can care about your country, your people, it's, uh, your country uh, or your people, it's only your problem. Uh, you both the country to such unwell situation and uh, it's nobody's fault, only yours. Uh, so it's uh, not an obligation of rich countries uh, to help poor ones. Sorry, uh, please. Yes. Uh, did I understand correctly? Did you say that it's the poor countries' problems that they are suffering from diseases and hunger? Yes, uh, it's only their problems because uh, when the world uh, was then the world became, uh, everyone have uh, the same chances. And for example, uh, some countries uh, don't take the ch their chance uh, as, uh, for example, another country. So it's only their fault. Um, so it's not an obligation of rich countries to help poor ones. Uh, the rich country can choose what country uh, it wants to help or not. Uh, the Aristotle said uh, life requires movement, uh, so if the country wants to be rich, it needs to move. Uh, and how many minutes I have? Three. Uh, so I want to give you a refutation. Uh, first speaker of a positional team said that uh, give a fish uh, to a man, he has a lunch for a day. Teach a man to fish, he has a lunch every day. Uh, he as I understand, you means that uh, we need to help uh, poor ones uh, to give uh, them fish, but if uh, we give them uh, fish, for example, for one day, uh, they won't, uh, they won't, they won't be able to uh, to catch a fish by themselves. So we need to uh, now we need them teach how to fish, but not give them a fish. Is, yes. That is still giving help, that is giving them knowledge of how to fish. And uh, also I want to give you uh, the example on Darwin's, uh, on Darwin's uh, theory. So this is the Darwin's theory, and this is uh, our, and this is a rich, uh, rich countries need to help poor ones. So, uh, Darwin. Uh, the Darwin said that uh, some species of animals uh, can't uh, live because they have a small Im immunity, and uh, and another has the more the has um, has more uh, strong immunity, and if a more strong immunity will help uh, the more. Uh, no, unstrong immunity. Uh, this uh, first immunity can't uh, can't be able to uh, do his immunity by themselves. So uh, we need to give a chance uh, for countries to uh, do everything by themselves. So uh, we can transform this theory to our uh, motion. Uh, so in conclusion, I'd like to uh, say that um, our team is well, that a criterion of our team is well-being of the country, is a task of the country. Uh, so we give you a strong arguments which were supported by real, by real facts. Uh, thank you for listening. Good morning, dear ladies and gentlemen. Dear judge, dear audience, and our dear opponent. So I am the second speaker of the opposition team. Uh, my name is Deb. So we are here to debate on a very important motion that uh, rich countries should help uh, poor ones, and we truly believe that it's so. So firstly, I want to start with a refutation to our opponents. Uh, so they say that it's a fault of nobody but poor countries that they are suffering. But don't you know that? Uh, there are a lot of situations where rich countries kill poor ones uh, because of money or because of resources and poor ones, it's not the fault of poor ones and also there was a historic, there was some historic moments uh, when poor ones 
uh, have no chance to increase the, to improve the skills to in, to uh, make the to make the situation inside better. So also I want to say that it's point Give, uh, uh, we must cover, cover. We must cover all physiological needs, physiological needs of poor countries. Uh, then we must give them safety, and only after uh, we will cover the physiological needs and give them safety, then we improve themselves because they have all they need. And maybe they will become a rich country and uh, and give a lot of results and make maybe some uh, some uh, invention, yes, invention and uh, develop themselves. No sense. <laughs> so I want to continue our argumentation line that uh, we must just leveling up or that putting feet in educational uh, development. So we must put uh, the poor ones on educational level, give them an opportunity to uh, to teach their people and and maybe them. People that uh, uh, Wait. No. <laughs> people uh, that became that became clever because of educational system will make uh, country better, will make country rich, and uh, that's why we truly believe that we must put and feed uh, poor countries in educational Wait. development. Yes. <laughs> you said that the, there is a lot, uh, there's a lots of countries that help an hour. For example, U USA uh, helps an hour. You said there is a lot uh, that we must, uh, rich countries must help poor one. But but there's a lot. Of, for example, there is uh, the rich countries help poor one. Can you give me an example when poor one? <laughs> Uh, when economic or uh, or poor country increase. Thank you. So, but you didn't give me an example when uh, rich countries help poor ones. I said you, <laughs> you and you say to Africa. You're not allowed. So I want to continue, and we truly and we, and we truly believe that we must uh, give all the that we must give. Uh, it must put and feed poor countries in educational development, in medical development, in, in economical development. So uh, that's why. Uh, Wait. Uh, yes. Uh, can you give me uh, in your uh, in the beginning you said that uh, some of countries can't uh, don't have a chance to develop, develop. to develop. Uh, can you give me Africa? So in in <laughs> Africa, they, Africa was. Uh, Separated from all over the world, they can't uh, communicate with England, they can't communicate with France, they can't communicate with Russian Empire, they can't communicate with Germany, they can't communicate with USA, uh, them, so, and Africa was separated. Uh, yes, there was a big mess and what, so they were separated, they have no chance to develop, uh, they have no educational system, because when all countries uh, were, impro were improving the uh, themselves, Africa was separated from all from all of them, and they have no chance to improve themselves. So and we truly believe that if we if we will teach teach a man to fish, uh, if he will fish himself for a life, and can and if we teach a country uh, to, if we teach a country and um, put on feet country in, in educational, medical, and economical development, it will. It will uh, it will improve itself. Thank you for that.
dag van ladies and gentlemen and our honorable judges, timekeeper and our uh, opponents. I'm the second speaker of opposition team uh, Timur. Uh, today we are, uh, we, are, we are here on debate on a motion that, uh, that this house believes that rich, uh, rich countries must, must help poor ones. And we, the opposition team, absolutely d d uh, disagree with this point of view. Our, uh, our, our, uh, our, criterions, our criterion sounds like... Uh, our uh, our our criterions uh, s uh, sounds like I will give you a uh, criteria soon. Uh, now I wanna give you uh, I wanna give you my arguments. My first argument sounds like uh, corruption. Uh, some uh, in some cases the uh, help of of rich countries. Of course, I I said about money can uh, can uh, can. Point, please. Okay. Give an example when uh, poor, the rich countries help help to poor ones and uh, poor ones uh, become corrupted because of their help. I'm really sorry, but example of example is our first speaker can give you all examples. Uh, Third. Uh, uh, so about uh, about uh, about corruption, uh, there is a lot of uh, example in history when this corruption uh, happened. Uh, I want I uh, I want to give you a definition of word coru uh, corruption. Corruption is ab uh, abu uh, abuse of obligation uh, of obligation power or uh, to. Uh, to uh, to selfish selfish denial. Uh, well, my third argu uh, my third argument sounds as uh, uh, my, my first uh, argument sounds like uh, sorry oh, here it is. Uh, my third ar argument uh, sounds like it's wrong to allow at outsiders to, uh, to influence the, the, the development of a country. It can lead uh, to big pr uh, pr uh, problems. So, uh, in, some, in, some, uh, in some cases, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, recipe, uh, uh, the donor countries can be um, obligated by European uh, countries because uh, this can't, uh, economic of this country can't live uh, uh, the, uh, without uh, money and help of the rich and rich countries, and that's why some uh, some rich, uh, some some countries uh, some rich countries might have an, an an interest to a poor one. For example, uh, in in Africa there is a lot of uh, in. In South Africa, there is a lot of of diamond uh, dim uh, diamond mines, and then the uh, the, ki the king Le uh, Le uh, Leopold uh, knew about it. He came to Africa, and uh, his army uh, killed about ten uh, ten uh, ten five thousand of Point all please. people. Okay. What is the source of your information? Uh, it's a it's a it's a, it's a history fact. Mm -hmm. um, and now I want to give you a refutation. So the second speaker of of proposition team uh, says uh, say about we should uh, give a can uh, give a country uh, help. So uh, it's safety tips, like psychology, money, or something else. Uh, but in fact, then, uh, then, uh, then, then we give a country uh, money or or maybe safe. This uh, this country, uh, if this uh, this uh, this help stopped, this country will be. I don't know. Uh, this, okay. Why do you think so? Okay, uh, I can tell you. I can give you. Uh, ex example, for example, a uh, ma uh, man who is uh, depend. uh, who is uh, dependent by drugs 
can't uh, can't leave uh, the uh, the the uh, uh, drugs, and um, the same is to the country. Um, in con uh, in conclusion, I would I would like to say uh, that we are uh, we are disagree with uh, uh, the uh, proposition point of uh, of you and rich countries shouldn't help uh, uh, shouldn't help poor, uh, poor, uh, poor poor countries because it, it it will be just a big minus for poor countries. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, dear ladies and gentlemen. I'm the third speaker of uh, proposition team. My name is Nasya. And today our topic is this house believes that uh, uh, rich countries should help poor ones and we absolutely support this opinion. Uh, firstly, I will give a quotation to our opponent. Um, our opponent said that <coughs> uh, uh, poor countries uh, which uh, uh, get help from rich countries are like people who are dependent uh, from uh, drugs. Uh, uh, why did you decide that help uh, like, a, uh, like a drug? Uh, it's just uh, a push from uh, rich countries. It's uh, just a motivation to poor countries to improve themselves. Uh, our criteria is uh, give them a fish and feed them for, the, for a day. Uh, teach a man to fish and feed them for a living. Our ideas <coughs> for uh, putting on feet in economical development, putting on feet in medical development, and in education. Rich countries can give some military equipment. In some country, uh, if some country is poor and weak, uh, strong and rich countries can see it uh, and try to be at war uh, with uh, poor, this, poor countries. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, rich countries should help. For example, uh, as we said, uh, uh, by military equipment. Uh, we want to say that if rich country uh, helps poor ones, uh, it doesn't slow down. Yes, rich country can give money, uh, some equipment, uh, but it never would uh, slow down because it's already strong and rich. And for rich country, uh, 10 or 20 millions uh, don't... Uh, uh, mean uh, Don't mean too much. Uh, so... Uh, uh, so... We really think that uh, rich countries should help poor ones. Our second argument was putting on feet in medical development. Rich countries can help poor ones giving them medical supplies. Uh, Germany repeatedly helps poor ones by medical <coughs> supplies. And it doesn't mean that if Germany helps in medicine poor countries, level of, of medicine in uh, Germany uh, uh, will be lower. Our third argument was uh, putting on feet in educational development. A lot of universities all over the world uh, offer programs of education for students uh, from uh, poor countries. Uh, it's a great possibility uh, to uh, show uh, young people a uh, uh, good uh, example and give them motivation. Um, it's uh, the type of help to poor ones from rich countries when rich countries give poor ones some specialists to show people uh, who live there how to do something in their country better. Rich countries can also invite people, uh, how we have already said, uh, from poor countries to show, uh, to show them higher level of life. Um, um, also, uh, rich countries... Uh, uh, when, poor, when poor country suffers from uh, natural diseases, uh, rich countries can send uh, there some um, doctors or uh, rescue teams. Uh, so help from uh, rich countries can be different. And the other thing that uh, uh, rich countries uh, must help um, 
poor countries because it's really important. Uh, so our criteria is give a man a fish and feed them for a day, teach a man to fish and feed them for a living. Thank you for attention. Our honorable judges, thank you for our, our opponents. So today we're discussing on a motion that sounds like uh, this house believes rich countries should help poor ones. But we as opposition team are here to prove that this statement is wrong and we are right. Um, firstly, I would like to give you our criteria. Our criterion is well-being of a country is a task of this country. So now I want to give you our, our refutation for arguments that were given for, um, from our opponents from proposition team. Firstly, the second speaker said that there are many countries that have no chance to develop themselves, but uh, he didn't um, gi give us any evidences. Um, and secondly, third speaker said that help isn't like a drug, but uh, in poor countries uh, get used. Uh, but poor countries get used to the help of rich ones, and then they uh, depends of on their help. Um, and I want to give some truthful evidences and facts that will prove uh, our statement. Um, Angus Dilton, professor of an uh, economic facu faculty in uh, Princeton University, which studied about uh, poverty in uh, India and South Africa, uh, took, a pri uh, took a Nobel Prize about, uh, for a work, research, uh, about how poor countries um, <coughs> make decisions how to how to waste or save their money. Uh, so Dilton proved that the most of um, $135,000 that rich countries uh, wasted for developing poor ones didn't uh, bring any help. Also, many scientists that supported Dilton gave dozens of examples. Give us a please. Source? Source. Uh, it's it's a very uh, famous scientist, professor, person. and he took a Nobel Prize for his work. Uh, also, many scientists that supported Dilton uh, gave dozens of examples uh, where humanitarian help used for supporting uh, poor countries. Uh, uh, only enhanced poverty. In countries like uh, Zaire, Rwanda, Ethiopia, Somali, Biafra, and the Khmer Rouge in border of Thailand and uh, Cambodia. Um, the third evidence is, is a shining example. In the world history house said our second speaker, uh, one Belgian king, Leopold II, um, destroyed 10 million African people. Uh, so I heard that there is a big amount of diamonds and uh, it all started in a geographic conference where we were discussing, uh, discussing Leopold's offers about uh, connecting this, connecting this African people to a uh, modern uh, community and he uh, uh, thought that that it would be great when native African people uh, uh, will be more civilized, but it was like mm -hmm. life. And uh, but he didn't consider it necessary to build hospitals or even uh, uh, health centers to these African peoples. And there were many epidemics in different regions that took away two millions of Congolese lives, but the king wanted on the diamonds. So, in conclusion, I'd like to say 
that we used using very strong arguments, facts, facts and evidences, proved you that we are right and our statement is true. Thank you. Uh, good morning, one more time. Uh, our motion is, this house believes that rich countries shouldn't help poor ones. Uh, so we, as opposition team, have proved you that this statement isn't true. Uh, the definitions and criterion of our resolutions was given, were given in our first speech. Uh, our main goal was successfully completed. Speakers of our team confidently provided disputable arguments which you heard during a game. Uh, and now I want to give you some clash points. So, uh, the first clash point. Uh, uh, the point of our team sounded like, uh, can, you, uh, can you give me any example when poor uh, countries uh, become uh, richer after help? Uh, after help? Uh, the uh, the oppos opposite uh, team uh, said uh, yes, Africa. Uh, but uh, we wanted to say that, as we know, as we know from uh, lessons of history, uh, Africa, uh, Africa was a war. Was uh, Was relieved, and when and then uh, he had, she had, it had um, chances uh, to. Uh, to uh, do everything one more time. Uh, so uh, the second uh, clash point sounded like. Uh, one second. Uh, the point of our speaker was: uh, Can you give me uh, any examples? When poor country, when uh, poor country became uh, more richer after help, uh, became, and our speaker said that we already given the examples uh, that sounds like U USA helped Africa and uh, Africa didn't became more richer now, as we can see, uh, and. So, in the conclusion, I'd like to repeat uh, our criterion. Uh, so, our criterion sounded like uh, our team is well-being of the country, uh, is a task of the country. Thank you for listening. Uh, good morning again. My name is Isabel. I am the first and I will begin the reply speech of the proposition team. I'd like to thank you for this very amazing game. It was very fascinating. And I would like to get to the main clash point. Um, I asked if it was their problems that uh, the poor countries were suffering. You said that yes, it's their own problems. So because the country uh, cannot afford some medical help or cannot afford food or doesn't have food, it is their fault that they, don't, that they can't do that. Um, you said that everyone started at the same level. Uh, there's no such thing as the same level because every continent has different resources. Some has more, some has less, and some of those poor countries are the ones that actually had less resources. Um, also, you said that a million years ago, uh, I'm sorry, uh, a million years ago the continents were much closer together, so that just couldn't happen. Okay, so uh, you also said that help is like a drug. The help is not like a drug, it's just that little push of motivation, as our second speaker said of this pyramid. It goes like. Um, Physiological help, safety, then it goes uh, love, belonging, esteem, and self uh, astralization. So, without these two, they can't continue the rest of the pyramid. 
experiment. So without physiological problems, uh, the safety, they can't get it. So we need to give them the first two steps in which they could help themselves in the future. That is just a little tiny help. It's a little push. It's not a drug. Um, uh, also, your, uh, third, your second speaker, I'm sorry, promised uh, our second speaker examples in his um, teammate's third speech, and we didn't seem to hear those examples. Uh, so now I would like to uh, give our arguments again and our criteria. So our criteria was leveling up to the role model, first argument, put on feet in economical development, uh, second argument, put on feet in uh, medical development, and our third argument was putting on feet in educational development. And I would also, again, like to thank you for this very interesting game. And we would like to finish with the quote uh, that we finished in all our speeches, which is, give a man a fish and feed him for a day, teaches a man two fish and feed himself for a living. Thank you very much.